combination gauge has five main parts. The stem along which the stock or fence slides, the pins or spurs, the spur adjusting or locking screw and the stock locking screw. To set up a gauge for marking and mortise, first using the spur adjusting screw, adjust the spurs so the chisel just fits between the points of the spurs. Then adjust the stock so that when the stock is against the face side, it looks like the spurs are in the middle of the workpiece. While holding the stock against the face side, make a mark in the waste material with the spurs. Then place the stock on the other side of the material and make another mark. If the marks align, the spurs are in the middle of the timber. If they do not, then adjust the stock until they do align. Next, gauge the mortise between the mortise lines by first making a mark where the mortise will finish with the gauge. Then slide the gauge from the other line towards the mark you have just made. Don't forget to keep the stock against the face side. Then turn the workpiece over and repeat on the other side, again with a stock against the face side. To set up the gauge to mark a single line in the centre of the timber for a halving joint. First adjust the stock so that the single spur appears to be in the centre of the timber when the stock is against the face side and make a mark with the spur in the waste material. Then place the stock on the other side and make a mark with a spur. If the mark is exactly aligned then the spur is in the middle. If not, adjust the stock until they do align. Then make a mark on the line where you want the gauge line to finish and starting from the opposite line, gauge a line between them. 